Well, Janine, from early this morning till just about an hour ago, Chesterfield County police and animal transportation trucks lined Bensley Road, all focused on this one house and the conditions of the animals inside. The neighborhood is pretty well quiet. In a Chesterfield neighborhood tucked off of Bensley Road. When I woke up this morning, the police were here and I had no idea what was going on. Sits a home that is now the center of an investigation by the Virginia Attorney General's office. And then when I saw the Humane Society come in, I kind of figured it had something to do with the animals they were selling. With no official word yet from authorities on exactly what's going on at this home. For hours Monday, we saw Chesterfield police and the Humane Society of the United States go in and out of this house carrying animal crates. I know they have dogs because I hear them at night barking in the back. But as far as anything else, I knew nothing about. With some crates brought out of the house with cats inside and dozens more stacked outside of the home sitting empty, a neighbor who did not want to be named says she was shocked hearing there may be over 100 animals on the property. You know, I would see cars go in and they come out with crates but I didn't realize it was that many. As animals were taken out of the house, it seemed they were each being checked briefly by someone with the Humane Society and then put into a truck. I got a feeling they're gonna be here all day. This is the first time, you know, that we've had this kind of incident on this street. Police were also seen going in and out of the backyard through an entrance in a tall gate surrounding the area. The neighbor says she believes there's a large animal crate in the back. I know they have dogs because I hear them at night barking in the back. But as far as anything else, I knew nothing about. She says she's especially surprised because the people that live in the home have always been kind to her. I come out to the mailbox and they would be out in the yard or something. They would speak to me. They were nice as could be. But says she hopes justice is served if any crimes were committed. If there's wrongdoing over there, then they need to pay for it. I just hope they find a good home for all these animals. Now, the attorney general's office said they could not comment at this time as this is an ongoing investigation and there was a business tied to that address and we have reached out but have not yet heard back. In Chesterfield, I'm Joy Foltz for CBS 6 News.